sounding shout you want to jump you want to clap your hands you want to shout you want to give the Lord some praise tell your neighbor this is a very special night I didn't hear you tell your neighbor this is a very special night before we go ahead to do anything, we want to give honor to whom honor is due. And I want you to take your time. Daddy, Daddy was telling us the last time a pastor friend of his went on vacation and he got drowned together with his kids. And then this year too, those of you who have been following social media, one of the major charismatic churches lost the mother of the church. But thank God we still have our daddy and our mommy in the building. They are still blessing us day after day, month after month, week after week. Somebody shout and thank God for their lives. Somebody give the Lord the praise. 
Hallelujah. I would like us to know that we are streaming live on social media, on Facebook. You want to go to House of Consecration and share what is happening here to bless somebody elsewhere in the world. Hallelujah. We are privileged to have the very last declaration for the year 2019. After tonight, we are not going to take this declaration again. Hallelujah. You want to scream it with passion. You want to declare it with power. You want to shout it. Because I believe within 24 hours, something from what you declare can happen in your life. Hallelujah. This is 2019. Our year of total service to God. I am born to reign. I am born to rule. I am born to shine. I am born to prosper. I am born to flourish. I am born to make a difference. I am born to change the world. I am born to serve God. Therefore, no more limits, no more obstacles, no more barriers, no more afflictions, no more struggles, no more delays, no more oppression, no more lack. I am the light of the world. I am the salt of the world. I am a servant of God's people. I am a solution to problems. I am an answer to questions. I am a difference maker. I am a world changer. I will serve God in holiness. I will serve God in purity. I will serve God in sincerity. I will serve God in truth. I am victorious. I am protected from evil. I have divine health. I am strong in the law. My mind is sound. I am blessed and favored. I will walk in the supernatural. I have access to the Holy Spirit. I can solve complex problems. I can solve enigmas. I can explain mysteries. In 2019, I will break through. In 2019, I will emerge. In 2019, I will be exalted. In 2019, I will take territories. In 2019, I will thrive. In 2019, I will win souls for HCM. In 2019, I will reign, I will shine, I will flourish, I will succeed, I will make a difference, I will prosper, I will serve God in Jesus' mighty name. Why don't you shout another time unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we please take our seats? We have a minstrel in the house. Shall we welcome with a round of applause our dear minister Welbeck to give us a song ministration. Oh, let's welcome him. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Oh, man, so when you say hallelujah. Let me tell you a very simple story. Just about a month ago, now, me free is legon at the Sinaque Jumemo. Me drew Shashi, the Honum baby. And I mean, who said, Boys, here, a yarn of the Paca, any morning. I saw them say, Na Omo Kuska. And I observed them. And just as I was, I, I was observing them, I rolled down. And I'm afraid, boy, back on the Muzans, I then a mock. And I was moon in any scar. And a boy back on the vessel offer. Now, I decided to enter into their lives and get to know them more. And the, my camera is called, and we took two of the boys. And I hear say you didn't follow on my life. Now, they did something that shocked him. 
e ho no ma na me pese yiti na ende sunday e bi me me follow omo e bi sa se se omo anya ka am prepare ni mo kwesi ada e kwa be na omo fa so a omo didu me ti asem a omo ka jo car speaker car speaker e ya na magnet bi wa ase se omo de ahoma chichire car speaker no so a na omo de ko akra gates kan kan na e wo ho no no na omo de atom na omo de nena musa so omo de nena mu a omo nim se enya den ya obi be ejom e ma ne 20 pesos for gates ni mu na na m se e bon unti we ntimi amfa enti no o de sa magnet ne to gates ni mu a na akwa ko chi 20 pesos no enti obo abo ano a en no wodi didi until say obesenya the next ejuma yemu do do say me tell say ya obetimi aka say ebade nye bi ma wa yemu do do say na wa ha say ya obetimi aka say ebade onye bi ma any time i remember their story it brings me tears because enye kra no enye kra ma wo it is not like their own and i'm a boy and this how do you sit up by now would you just wave your hand at him at the end of me why am i christo and i do me both and i'm i don't know me say at the end of me why oh jesus Yam a Christo, oh Jesus, me body di di. Me say at the end of me wah, yam a Christo, cause yam a body di. Hey, never gonna. Me say at the end. Yeah, I don't care. 
together and appreciate all the minstrels. Come on. Appreciate every one of them. What a blessing. What a blessing. Hallelujah. Are you very euphoric tonight? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Hear me. Hear me. You know, tonight we are, whether you like it or not, we are drawing the curtains to a decade. Yes, we are drawing the curtains to a decade and we are ushering in another decade. Are you with me at all? So if you are very privileged to be alive tonight, my dear, you have to be very happy. Those of you who came earlier, Pastor James said something before he led the worship. He said you don't need to be cajoled. You don't need anybody to encourage you. That you are seeing the last day of 2019. My dear, it's not by might. 
It's not by power. Are you with me at all? It's not your bank account. It's not your background. It's not where you are coming from. You are alive because of his unfailing love and mercy. Hear me, if you are privileged to be alive, clap those hands and give Jesus a mighty mega shout. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to respectfully entreat you, get up from your chair, look for some two people, slap them a high five and say to them, congratulations. You made it. You made it. Tell somebody you made it. 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 Come on, get up from your chair. Look for somebody. Give the person a high five and say to the person, congratulations. You made it, you made it, you made it. You made it. Chosen generation. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Are you excited? If you're excited, give him a shout. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Well, before we go into the unvarnished word, help me, let's appreciate the mama of the house. Clap your hands. Let's celebrate the woman of God the first lady of the house put your hands together for her <laughs> hallelujah amen you know let's appreciate all my pastors appreciate them appreciate them appreciate them amen Last but not the least, appreciate your own self. Come on. Celebrate yourself. It's our year of total celebration. Come on, celebrate yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, give somebody a high 10. Say, you better celebrate me. Or else, you will not have that privilege to celebrate me in 2020.
just leaving me. I know who I am. I know who I say inside. Hey, what he say inside? Why he say inside? I know who I am. Hey, I know who I say inside. Why he say inside? Why he say inside? Why is this? Why is this? I know who I am. Oh, I know who God says. What is this? Why is this? I know who I am. If you are in this kind of atmosphere and nothing is moving you, I said, Why a body? It's like you are observing people, you are checking people out. Nobody has made you an investigator, nobody has made you a scout. We are jumping, you are not jumping. We are accelerated, you are not accelerated. We are shouting, you are not shouting. What at all they do you? Sit down. Hallelujah. Listen, 2019 has been a very intriguing year. You know, a few ups and downs here and there. The journey sometimes was a bit undulating. You know. <laughs> You know, I mean, on individual levels, you've gone through your own, you know, skirmishes here and there. Even as a church, we've gone through some turbulent times. You know, we've gone through some tempestuous storms. But, you see, the Bible said in Romans 8, 37, in all these things, we are still more than conquerors. You know, when David, I mean, when Joseph was exalted to the position of prime minister, you know, his siblings came to him. In Genesis 50, I think the verse 20, you know, they started saying, oh boy, we are sorry. They were envying some kind of remorse, you know, some kind of lamentation. Joseph looked at them. He said, you see, you guys meant it for evil. But God turned it around for my good. Hear me? As we prepare to launch into 2020, whatever was intended for evil 2019, God will turn it around for your good in 2020. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Rise up and shout, I take it by fire. When you meet God, ask him. 
Because whatever I'm saying to you, I'm saying it like he dictated it to me. He said 2020 promises us with a lot of golden opportunities. Listen, what, 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 one of the things I want to entreat you eh, to do for me in the coming year, be very poised. Are you with me at all? Be very resolute. Be very serious. Be very determined. Because listen, 2020, any opportunity God has marked for you, you will not miss it by fire. Some of you, 2020 is your year of marriage. Some of you, 2020 is your year of conception. Some of you, 2020, you will start your business. 2020, you will travel to Dubai. You will travel to China. You will travel to America. You will travel to Europe. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Listen, your becoming a millionaire, eh, it starts from tonight. Because between now and first quarter of 2020, you will count money until you are tired. Receive that anointing. Receive that grace. Huh? Listen, I just said in my spirit that tonight God is going to release five people. That the oil to become a billionaire. God is intoxicating you with that oil. I don't know those five people I'm talking. I had it in my spirit. If you believe you are one of those five, receive it by fire. Receive it by fire. Because I had it. He said tonight, some five people, after this meeting is over, the oil to intoxicate you, to become a billionaire. Oh boy, oh girl, receive that anointing. Where is my best? I need to show it to you. I can't let it slide. Father, I tap into the oil to be a billionaire. And, and tell somebody, 2020 will be sweet. Tell somebody, 2020 will be sugary. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Huh. Sit down. Oh yeah. Listen, if you are very sensitive, if you are very, very spiritual, you will be able to, through laser discernment, you will be able to plug into 2020. And you will know that 2020 will be very different from 2019. I'm telling you. Listen, it's not another 31st watch night where I'll come and say things. So. Everything I'm saying, I mean it. Are you with me at all? Because I spent time into looking into 2020. Hear me. It will be one of the best years for God's children. 2020, you will buy your dream car. 2020, you will buy your dream house. You will build your dream house. 2020, every opportunity that is yours, you will get it by fire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Can I profess? Ah, the atmosphere is rich. Hear me? In the coming year, you will drive a car you didn't pay for. You will live in an apartment you didn't pay for. I'm prophesying. You know, you know, there are angels taking my words and bringing it to pass. As you are receiving it, God is already dispatching angel. I prophesy. 2020, you will enter aircraft, travel for holiday. You will not buy a ticket. You will not look for money. Somebody will favor you. Receive that impartation. Receive that grace. Somebody shall fire. 2020 will be good. I'm telling you, there are angels that have gone ahead of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell somebody you have to be joyful. Sit down, let me introduce my message. <laughs> Tonight, I'm preaching on paradigm shift. Tell somebody there is a paradigm shift. Tell somebody there is a shifting coming to your life. Tell somebody after tonight, whether you like it or not, there will be a paradigm shift. Yeah. You see, when we talk of paradigm or a paradigm, we are simply talking of a pattern. We are simply talking of a model. We are simply talking of some kind of action, some kind of activity. Is somebody following me at all? So, when we talk of a paradigm, we are saying one action loses its influence for another to take over. 
So when we say paradigm shifting, we are simply talking about a fundamental approach to a drastic metamorphosis. <laughs> what I'm simply saying is when we talk of paradigm shifting is a realm, is an arena where you don't have time to negotiate. Are you with me at all? Listen, some of you, eh, if God must go through the nitty gritty to lift you, you will wait forever. So there must be some paradigm shifting. Are you with me at all? There must be some drastic transformation. There must be a drastic change. That's the way. Eh? There must be a drastic word, change. Because without change, my dear, there will not be an elevation. And 2020, eh, if God is saying it's our year of total celebration, even witches and wizards will vote for you. Your amen is very discouraging. Listen, your household witches and wizards, after tonight's teaching, they will hold a secret meeting and they will call your name and say, 2020, we don't have any business to do with this one. Allow her to get married. Allow him to get married. Allow him to prosper. Allow her to prosper. Allow her to conceive. Receive that covenant grace. Somebody shout, I take it by fire. Listen, next year is total celebration. Total celebration. When God gave me that team, the team resonated in my spirit. Because Jack, what bread? That you'll be some bread. Don't, don't be religious. Umre. Talk to me. Are you not tired? Empire in our bobby. Fasting. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A for your bobby. Ah. Now then, you're many more things, huh? 2020. You will count your blessing. January, you will count a major blessing. February, you will count a gargantuan blessing. Receive it by fire. <laughs> you know what I saw in a flash? Some of you, eh, you will wake up in one of the months in, February, in, in, in 2020. And when you wake up, you'll be in tears. Not tears of sorrow. Not tears of agitation. Listen, get ready. I heard in my spirit now. That 2020, some of you will get up and you are wondering what's happening. Why is everybody blessing me? Why is everybody looking for me? Why is everybody favoring my cause? Am I talking to somebody at all? If you believe you are a recipient of that anointing, rise up and shout, I take it by fire. Somebody shout, there is a paradigm shifting. It's a paradigm shifting. Yes. God must change the approach. God must change it. God must surprise some people. Oh yeah, yeah. God must surprise your enemies. They will think you are coming from the north. Before they know it, you are coming from the south. I love it when the Bible said the wind blow where it listed. Thou hear the sound thereof. That is paradigm shifting. You cannot tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So is every man born of the spirit. Hear me. God is going to bless you in 2020. And your enemies will not know how you got there. Before they know it, you are distributing your wedding invitation. Before they know it, there is housewarming in your compound. Receive that impartation. So 2020, I want you to be very poised. I want you to enter 2020 with so much vim. Eh? <laughs> enter, you see, 2020. Let me borrow the words of Chemaun to me. It's going to be very... <laughs> it's a movement. 2020 is a movement. Stronger than apartheid. Don't mark his grammar. But I'm looking at the spirit behind what he said. If you saw the video, the way the man was speaking, he said, it's a movement. Stronger than apartheid. <laughs> it's that kind of, you know, resolution I want you to confront 2020 with. Because 2020, if I truly be a man of God, from January to end of March, I will dedicate cars. I will dedicate houses. I will dedicate babies. I will dedicate things. Receive your own portion. Listen, don't, don't, don't 
just with the words I'm speaking of. Because in Psalm 107 verse 20, the Bible said he sent forth his word. He didn't go to their houses. Uh, no, 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 no. God does not need to enter airport. God does not need to enter Jaulu. God does not need to enter uh, uh, Amenia. God does, no, 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 no. He will only speak his repertory word. And as I'm prophesying, angels are being deployed. Before the next 48 hours, uh, something will hit your house. I say before 48 hours, uh, good news will enter your house. Somebody shall I take it by fire. Give me Isaiah 54. Let's open some things. Isaiah 54. Somebody said there is a paradigm shift. Yes, there's a paradigm shift. There's a paradigm shift. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Uh -huh. ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Go to go to verse two. Go to verse two. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth thy curtains of thine habitation. Uh -huh. Spare not, lengthen thy course, strengthen thy stake. Quickly jump to verse five. For thy maker is what? For thy maker is what? The Lord of hosts is his name. The Redeemer, the Holy One, the God of what? Ghana. The God of only Adenta Frafra. The God of only Soto. The God of only Nima. The God of what? Is America on that? Earth. It's America part. It's London part. It's Nigeria part. It's South Africa part. Hear me, 2020. Anywhere you want to enter, receive grace to enter. I said, receive grace to enter. Receive grace to enter. Your bounce of visa is our brain. 2020. <laughs> Somebody will move you from the queue and tell you, sit down. Let me go and pick the visa for you. May God deploy angels on your behalf. You will enter offices and they will tell you, are you also here to bid for the contract? You say, yeah. They say, sit down. Somebody will carry your document. By the time the person is returning, that job is given to you without a bidding. May God send angels on your behalf. Somebody shout, I receive it by fire. This scripture we read is, is, is very, very rudimentary. Very vital. You know, I, I was trying to be an occupant of the pulpit, but it's not working. It's not working. My ya am fa. I'm on my video and I'm swimming in a one checker. I'm about my ya am fa. Obi an energy. We generate one of my horses. Listen, 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 listen. The scripture we just read, I want us to quickly examine the words the prophet used to delineate that text. Let, let's go to the verse 1. Isaiah 54. Look at what he said. He said, you see, when you are entering a season of celebration, what makes people cry? You don't cry. What makes people agitated? Don't make you agitated. Are you with me at all? No, look at it. Naturally, if somebody has a problem, is it not okay for the person to complain? Okay, you are married for 15 years. No child. If you meet somebody and say, my dear, hi, when will God remember me? Um, I don't know what I've, I should do again. I mean, when you start talking like that, is it not normal? Talk to me. Is it not normal? Don't be religious tonight. Is it not normal? You have completed university 12 years with first class. You can't find a decent job to do. If you meet me on the street and say, Daddy, I don't know what's going on in my life. I'm frustrated. I'm is it not normal? But in this scripture, the Bible is saying through the prophet that those of you who are barren, those of you who don't have children, in fact, you are better off than those who have children. Listen, 
in the last 17 years of preaching this gospel, it is very freakish, very outlandish to meet somebody with a problem, with an enigma, with some kind of, you know, unpalatable condition. And the person will be singing. The person will be very, you know, gleeful, very elated <laughs> over the problem. It's not common. Are you with me at all? That somebody with a problem is rather encouraging those who don't have a problem. Somebody with a problem is saying, you have a car. Wow. Well, I don't have a car, but I'm still better than you anyways. You sit in your house. The person is renting a house. And yet the person is encouraging you. Don't worry. You'll find money to pay your bills. The one that is disadvantaged. The Bible is saying here, let that one sink for joy. You see, when we talk of barrenness, barrenness is not just the absence of children. When the preacher was talking of barrenness here, it was not necessarily a reference to the absence of children. It's an aspect of barrenness. Barrenness is very copious when it comes to our work with God. Are you with me at all? So when the Bible says barrenness here, it's not just talking about somebody who can't have children. It's not just talking about somebody who is unfruitful. Are you with me at all? You, you can have a barren life. Your family can be barren. Your business can be barren. Are you with me at all? So, barrenness is not just absence of children. When a marriage is going through barrenness, that marriage is not sweet. When a marriage is going, when you are going through financial barrenness, my dear, you lose your respect. Anybody can talk to you anyhow. But the good thing about it is that barrenness is not a place, it's a state. Barrenness is not a place. It's a temporal season. Is somebody following me? But God is saying here through prophet Isaiah that tell the people in house of consecration who are going through some kind of temporal barrenness whether in finances, whether in business, whether in relationship, whether in education that 2020 they should start singing for joy. Why? Because I am a God that determines the end from the beginning. In other words, I have already entered 2020. We are looking at the clock physically. And we are saying we still have some couple of hours to go. But God is saying, no, I have already entered 2020. And for that reason, I want you to sing for joy. Hmm. Sing for joy. Sing for joy. Listen. If you enter 2020 casually, eh, you will not enjoy 2020. Enter the year with expectation. Enter 2020. You see, I'm just introducing my message. <laughs> you see, initially we're jumping. We'll hit some things right now. And the place will be quiet. So enjoy this one. This is the curtain razor. We are now going to eat the real meal. He said, let them sing for joy. Ah, why? Why is God saying sing for joy? Aaron, why is God saying be joyful? When you know you have an enigma. Why is God saying rejoice? When he knows that things you are believing him for, he has still not come through for you. <laughs> why is God saying that? Because the explosive trigger eh, to the end time success to the end time celebration is joy. If you are not joyful, eh, you will not be celebrated in 2020. Don't wait for somebody to make you feel joyful. My dear, inspire yourself. And the reason why God is saying, I'm, I've already prepared celebration for you is because you have paid the price. Some of you are sitting here. You don't know you have paid the price for your celebration. That's why we are not going to pray into the celebration. We are going to be joyful into the celebration. Because we have paid the price. The question is, what price have you paid? <laughs> when people were driving and you didn't have a car, you still chose not to compromise. When the pressure was heavy, you didn't go. You didn't follow any malam so you will conceive. All the period you were waiting, God was calculating it as a price. 
So your price is not calculated by your rigorous prayer and fasting. Your price is calculated by how much in your lack you still make God proud. Because not everybody eh, is able to maintain a certain composure when what they are believing God for is not manifesting. Some people compromise. But the pressure was strong. But he said, no. For some reason, I still sense that my 2020 will be a year of celebration. So whilst you were enduring, whilst you were exhibiting faithfulness and commitment to God, God said, that is what you, I used to qualify you for joy. So, God's marking scheme is not man's marking scheme. How God measures the price or calculates the price is not by the way man looks at things. God says, I calculate it by your endurance. This generation, people are under pressure. I'm telling you, people are doing things so that they can travel abroad. The same office, some people are rising swiftly, not because of anointing, no. they are compromising. There are some MDs, they sit in offices, they label girls, and they, before they give them promotion. But some people chose that, let them demote me, because my Redeemer live it. If God truly is the God of yesterday, today and forever, my 2020 will be sweet. And God said, by reason of that composure, you have qualified. So you have qualified for celebration. Why? Because you didn't compromise. Is somebody following me at all? Listen, every one of you here that came under pressure, eh? To commit some kind of evil or mischief. But you refuted it. God said as you tell you. Sing for joy. Because 2020. Heaven will celebrate you. He is the God of all earth. He will celebrate you. Receive celebration. I said receive celebration. Another word. The prophet used. Was desolate. When we say somebody is desolate. We are simply saying you are going through some kind of wilderness experience. When you are going through desolation, my dear, nobody wants to help you. When you are going through desolation, your life stinks. When you are going through desolation, it's like you are in a dry season of your life. Have you been in a state where you want to read the Bible, but the appetite is not there? Have you been there before? Yes. You want to pray, but you can't pray. It's not like you are backslidden, you know. But the, the appetite, the nostalgia to meditate on God's word, the nostalgia for prayer has eluded you. It's a season, a temporal season of desolation. You see, when people are not spiritual and people are going through that season of desolation, they write them off. Sometimes people will say God is not with you. But in fact, God is more with you than those who think God is with them. Why? Because desolation is also temporal. Is somebody following me at all? He said, you that is going through desolation, you are going through setback. Another definition for desolation is when you are behind time. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, some people are embarrassed when they meet their colleagues. Some people are embarrassed when they see their contemporaries in town. Sometimes you look at the SLK they are driving. You look at the Jaguar they are driving. You look at the Bentley they are driving. And you are like, was I not better than this person in the classroom? What happened? Nothing has happened. You are your season of desolation. Hear me? When that season, temporal season expires, there is something we call overtaking anointing. It doesn't matter the people that have gone ahead of you. It doesn't matter the people that married before you, gave birth before you, buying properties before you. After tonight, I announce to you as God's oracle, there is an overtaking anointing coming upon you. It will carry you from that realm of wilderness experience and you will begin to surpass your contemporaries. Receive that anointing. Receive that grace. Uh, rise up and shall fire. Now, give somebody a high five. Tell the person, your desolation is temporal. Listen, it's just that people are not honest these days. But any man you see that is blessed by God, they will tell you there were seasons of desolation. There were seasons of barrenness. 
They are inseparable. Every man that is genuinely blessed by God. There was a time in your life you didn't have money. There was a time in your life you wanted a car but you didn't have it. There was a time you were looking for property but you couldn't afford. Every genuine man or woman God has lavished with blessing. There was a season like that in your life. So when you meet people who act like they have not been through nothing, they started eating conflicts from their mother's womb. It's a lie. You have gone through something. There are times when Niska will bag you. Who needs to pocket you? There are times you depend on people's invitation so that when they do party, you can go and eat. And sometimes when you are leaving, you ask them to package some because you know tomorrow is also important. You have gone through your own desolation. There are times you are very discouraged. Ah, you come to church, you are lifted, but when you go home, you are discouraged. It is when you are believing God for a child that everywhere you go, you hear the cry of children. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You are like, God, what is this? What kind of treatment is this? It's a season of desolation. That is when small, small children are rude to you. Sometimes you want to hit the abortus, but you are like, hey, is somebody's child? Do I even have some? It's desolation. It's a temporal season. Listen, when you are going through desolation, it will look like God has forgotten you, but I came to submit to you. God has never forgotten you. He said, the one that has no children, let that one rejoice. Why? Because more are the children of the desolate and the barren than the married wife. This is God speaking. So his ways certainly are not our ways. And his thoughts are not. Listen, some of you are here. Who need university certificate? If I just subscribe, who be C certificate? But God will overlook those things. In your year of celebration, God will go past those things. It doesn't matter whether you can speak well or you can't speak well. Once it's your year of celebration, heaven will celebrate you. I say heaven will celebrate you. Then the Bible said, enlarge. Have one same count. Enlarge. The place, the verse 2, of thy time. Tell somebody, there must be a paradigm shift. I'm preaching here for 30 minutes. Then we'll prayerfully enter 2020. Enlarge the place of thy time. God told me, no matter your sincerity, no matter your anointing, no matter your consecration, you can be the most holiest person in this congregation. If your mindset is poor, you will never be celebrated in 2020. All right. Look at that scripture. It said, enlarge the place. Of what? Thy tent. The place there speaks of your mind. Tell somebody your mind. The tent there represents the blessings of 2020. The tent there is what we talk about as celebration. Tell somebody the tent is your celebration. But God didn't say enlarge the tent. He said enlarge the place. God is speaking to you. He started speaking to you three months ago. That 2020 is our year of total celebration. God is saying the celebration is in cars. It's in marriage. It's in baby dedication. It's in international opportunity. All those things are in the tent. That is your celebration. But that is not your prerogative. That is not your responsibility. God is saying, I am a sovereign God. I can bless you anytime I want to bless you. I can make men celebrate you anytime. But my problem with you is whether you have the capacity to receive the celebration I'm bringing. So I need you to enlarge the place. Because if that place is not proliferated, you cannot enter your celebration. So, as much as 2020 is our year of celebration, if you are not ready to change your mindset, you can't enjoy what God is giving you. So, the place there is your mindset. God is saying, I am willing to pay the bill. Do you have the capacity to receive? A lot of us want to be celebrated, but your mind is too weak. 
your mind is still impoverished. Are you with me at all? Start seeing yourself as a big boy. Start seeing yourself as a big girl. Start seeing yourself. 2020, I will conceive. If you don't start seeing that, and when you start seeing that, uh, you start looking for baby doll to buy. And this is a baby doll. They have some toy like milk. You, you, when you start acting like that, heaven will be orchestrating the manifestation. Listen, 2020, I will be hitting on mind like no other. Because the problem God has with us is not devil. The problem God has with the church is our mindset. You just believe because you didn't come from a certain Dangote family, you can never prosper. Because you didn't go to the best school in Ghana, Achimata Secondary School, so you can never prosper. Is that right? Even Presakans are prospering. What are you talking about? There is one school and the rest are other schools. Listen, until you change your mindset, no, ma Lois, no matter how good you are, no matter how serviceable you are, you are an usher, you are in the choir, you are helping me, you are in hospitality, it's good. But if your mind is poor, you can never prosper. Proverbs 23, the verse 7, as a man thinketh, so is he that is paradigm shift. You must shift from the place of mediocrity, from the place of, you know, small things and enter the place of big things. You think too small. He says, enlarge your thinking. Enlarge your mindset. Give somebody high five. Tell the person, change your mind. Tell somebody, you are better than the level you are. Listen, where you are born does not define your future. Jesus was born in a manger, but he didn't have a manger mentality. The fact that you live in a certain area eh, doesn't mean you have to have the mentality of that area. The ambassador of Ghana, for, uh, the ambassador of America to Ghana doesn't think like a Ghanaian. He still behaves, eats, does everything like he's in America. Is a mentality. mentality in the kingdom of God. There are systems. You see, the kingdom of God is not a place. The kingdom of God is not what a place, it's a system. We don't die to enter the kingdom of God, you die to enter heaven. But the kingdom of God is a system, and there are modules of operandi in that system to be able to enter celebration in 2020. You must operate in that system. That kingdom mentality system. Ah, my father didn't buy a house, but I'm not my father. My mother didn't buy a house. I am not my mother. My father died of high blood pressure. I am not my father. My mother died of that. I am not my mother. Nobody in my family got married. I am different. I prophesy tonight. May God change your mind. I say, may God change your mind. Where your father ended. That will be the beginning of your greatness. Somebody shout, I receive it by fire. You have to change your mind. You know, for days I was praying and the Lord said, if only people in house of consecration can change their mind. In five years, I can raise rich men and rich women in that church. It's a mentality. Start thinking every day you wake up, you will meet somebody that can make your life better. Your mindset. And can John say the office I work is normal. Everybody must work 10 years, 15 years before they are promoted. You see the kind of mind you have. Tell yourself, I'll work two years and I'll become a manager. I'll work two years, I'll become a senior staff. I'm not talking to somebody at all. Receive that divine kingdom mentality. Somebody shout, I take you by fire. You must listen. 2020, eh, you want to start business. Stop thinking about this business I'm doing. The others who are doing it. When you start thinking like that, you will not succeed. Others are doing it, but tell yourself what they are doing, yours will be better. Nobody can apprehend you when you start talking big, when you start thinking big, when you start behaving big. Nobody. It's a mentality. 
He said, enlarge the place. Your mind must change. There must be a paradigm shifting. Young lady, the guy told you, you are not pretty, you are not, you are useless, so he has dumped you. Thank him. Call him and say, oh boy, thank you. Go back to your mirror. Do your makeup. One inch thick. Wear a beautiful dress. Look at yourself. And he said, look at me. The apple of the Lord's eye. Look at me. Wonderfully made. Look at me. I am the best thing the world is here to discover. It's a mentality. Don't let anybody talk you down. Hear me. I give you permission. Anybody that calls you useless in 2020, don't go and cry. Look at them and say they are double useless. Don't let anybody talk you down. You have not paid my bride price. You have not married me. You have not seen my family. You are already abusing me that I'm a useless girl. And you two, you are soaking it. Hey, who are Gary? Listen, have a superior mindset for 2020. You, are, you, are, you, are, you, you enter East Legon, you enter in Port Hills, you see nice houses, look at it, say, wow. Who's your big now? Right away, I'm going to say, I'm going to be a 1.5 million dollar. I said, wait, you've been Jimmy. I said, wow. You better draw. It's just a matter of time. You may not have the money in your pocket, but the money is in your mind. You may not have the money in your account, but your mind tells you, you are not, that place is not better than you. It's not stupid. The people living there were not living there before. They had a better mindset. They saw their future brighter. They saw their future greater. And today they are there. I prophesy to you, after tonight, may God change your mind. I say, may God change your mind. In three years, you will become a manager in your office. In three years, you shall be promoted in your office. In three years, your business will surpass other business. Receive that anointing. Receive that grace. Somebody shall fire. You need a superior mind. The problem is not the things you are looking for to be celebrated. God can give it to you any day. But God is saying, change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Obichao. 50 Ghana City. Eh? Thank you. But and yet, hey, bra. We dance you. Hey, bra. Obichao. We dance you. Thank you very much. You are appreciated. But and kutu kutu. Hey, hey, chairman. Now for my money, dear. It's poor mentality. You know why people don't give you big amount? Because your mind is small. I am not boasting. Scarcely will somebody say he wants to give me money. I didn't tell the person give me more than 100. But the person believes you are bigger than 100. It's a mentality. Mentality. Why you the same quantity. But who the hell form change in here? Who say why take two CD? On who say why take two CD? But who share two CD now? Every day I do a switch in it. Just a woman mentality. Ni niya ma uko twelve years no kura ne diweti. Your mind is poor. Why take kura? Listen, 2020, eh? tell yourself anything is possible. Listen, even if you are above 60 years, eh, you can have a mindset of a youth. You, you know what I'm trying to say? You don't see yourself as old, ready to die. You still believe that you are young. That's why sometimes if you are over 60, wear jeans. Wear like a stop dressing like somebody who is next to the grave. Change your mindset. I met a man in America in a shop. Elderly man, 75. Send a trainers. One share Fubu. You know that designer Fubu. No, the chain of I was wondering. The man, you can tell the guy is aging. Then, you know. So I went to him. I said, hey, sir, hello. He was a Nigerian. I said, how are you? He said, I'm fine. I said, please, how old are you? Then you don't know my age. 
I'm 75. I'm saying, really? He said, yeah, I'm 75. I'm just enjoying my life, boy. What's your problem? I'm enjoying my life. And uh, I was like, do you have any more questions? I'm saying, no, sir. Man, see you, yeah? Your nigga, man. 75. Pony jeans. I didn't fubu. What the Tiana? Soon they only 70 crap. Sister. And I'm his big donko. And I'm his sissy. A mentality. And there are some young men. 35, 33, 30. Why are you not wanting to see you? Who's your young collab? You want to see you? What do you come out? I'm not wanting to crap as I'm going to come with you. Who's your young man? We're in your kitchen. We're in your new fat. Obiano on prem. Your mindset. I have a bishop friend there. He's about 50 years old. He's always talking like, and, and, and I'm still young. And I'm still young. And I'm still young. So how is the man? I said, why do you always tell yourself you are young? He said, I'm young. Is that your? He said, you have a pro. I'm young. If you guess you don't see yourself young, me, I'm very young. And every time I see this man, he's always looking younger by the day. It's mindset. We, you see, you have allowed some diseases to be comfortable in your body because of poor mind. It counts with age. It's not true. Mommy is my witness. 92 year old man in a church I went to preach in Abuja. The man got up jumped, shouted, praise the Lord. His voice is thunderous than even younger men. 92 years. Mindset. 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 I'm preaching. You, listen, I want you to be celebrated. So start thinking in that direction. Start thinking. Start thinking. Men must celebrate you. How? By changing your mind. Change your mind. If you see yourself as a non-entity, why would people not treat you like a non-entity? No, at my level, by God's grace, can you meet me and tell me nonsense? You can't, you can't even dare look at me and say, why are you frustrated? You, you, you are not afraid. You are calling me frustrated. Your mind must change. That's why tonight, that's the prayer we are praying. Because heaven has already organized our celebration. But we need to change our mindset. Tell yourself, 2020, I have a superior mind. You see, when you have this superior mind, sin will be far from you. When you have a superior mind, a jamai and no conda. People, listen, people who have inferior mind, they're always looking for fornication, looking for adult. Inferior mindset. No. If you have a superior mind, you just know that I'm better than this. I don't know what to say. 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 I don't It's weak mind. People who have weak minds, they can't be holy. Because holiness looks, at, looks very impossible. So can I date somebody without chuku chuku? It's weak minds that think they cannot. He said, eh, because he wants to be, he wants to bring you into the arena of celebration. But your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. You can date somebody without chuku chuku. I dated mommy, no chuku chuku. It's possible. Ah. So, so, she will say, baby, I want to see you. I know that this is bad timing. Because at that point, my body, they do me. Because I have a superior mind, I'll tell the babes, it's not a good time. That's superior mind. That's superior mind. There are times I'll call her, I'll say, baby, I want to come and see. She say, no, there's fire on the mountain. That's superior mind. We are helping each other. Superior mind. Not that... I bet some so. Then I will go into her. Kalaba kutaya yekele bro shake ataya. It's foolishness. It's a sign that your mindset is small. Nobody escapes 
adultery or fornication with tongues. God did it. He said, flee. What do you want the tongues? If I enter her room, I will fall flat. Your mindset. Peja utine reme. Make a blessing. I will do it. Reme. You do have the audience before. Have a superior mind. Tell somebody about you. If you change your face, you are suspect. Superior mind. Listen, it's not everything that it, that takes prayer. There are some addictions you need superior mindset. I always used to see myself as better than fornication. I, I, I should go and do it for what? People are drinking. You too, you are drinking. You are better than that. Have a superior mind. I'm telling you, we can lay hands, lay knees. You still go back and commit a fornication. You must take a decision. That is why we call it paradigm shift. Tell the young man, say, my dear, I love you. You love me. We must be willing to wait. That's paradigm shift. Tell him if you are on heat, don't call me. If I'm heat, I won't call you. The guy is coming to visit you, a member of House of Consecration. Or Bob Prumu, now she address. Or Bob Prumu, When he opens the door, you deliberately drop the towel. God punish you. Your mind is weak. I see my maker. I just saw it in a vision. So the person is here. Your mindset. Your listen. Even if you are married today eh, and you compromise with your partner before, God forgave you and all that. But you think about it. Anytime you compromise, you felt bad. It's because your mind was telling you you shouldn't have done that. You are better than that. Listen, don't let anybody, you can date somebody without sleeping with the person. See, I hear. 2020, I insulate you against sin. I said 20, may God give you a mindset that is bigger than sin, bigger than iniquity, bigger than transgression. Hey, you have dated seven different guys. Obiaswak is older. So a group, kiss your bride. Oh, yeah, they said your first time. A branch on your way, you pass seven a decay. I said, no. That's about the paradigm shift. Do you know your mind has life? Talk to me. Do you know your mind has life? Do you know there are some temptations? It doesn't come physically. It comes to your mind. You can look at a lady lustfully and sin in your mind. That's the truth. Who my shoulders? Ah, You have already slept with her in your mind. Jesus said it. It's not only the act. Even in your mind, you can commit it. Some people are committing, even in church, they are committing it. It's because your mind is weak. I didn't write the Bible, but the Bible said, anybody that sleeps, anybody that commits adultery is a fool. Is that what the Bible said? Talk to, do you believe the Bible? If the Bible says you will prosper, do you believe it? So if the Bible says if you commit that, you are a fool. Why don't you want to believe that? Listen, I want you to enter 2020. The same friends you were drinking with, they call you for drink up. You are like, I'm not interested. You don't have mascatella. You don't have bluna. I leave. I can't sit here and drink with you. It means your mind is proliferating. It means there is a paradigm shift. Some of you, 2020, if you want God to celebrate you, you must change your company of friends. Change your friends. Nobody wears the same clothes for 20 years. The dress you were wearing 20 years ago, do you still have it? There are some associations, it's not good for you, but you are keeping them. It's a sign you have a weak mindset. If you know, if you know you are an important something going to happen in the future, you will not surround yourself with useless people. Have a superior mind. Not everybody is your friend, my dear. They are not thinking like you. Eh? 
The kind of friends you have. Charlie, guy now, what Charlie, you know, fair. He gets what? Foolish mind. Hey. Every day, man, big guy, big. I go set you up. I will link you. We are minister. <laughs> have a superior mind. Then, immediately they start telling this guy is a 419 guy. He's smart. Yeah, I'm not interested. Mm. I'm a child of God. Mm. My mind tells me this is no, a, a no go area. Mm. That's, I will be proud to hear that my daughter was sacked because she refused to compromise. Superior mind. Change your mind. Change what? Your mind. 2020. I don't want you to be left behind. I want you to come to this house with something to be celebrating. Are you with me at all? Change your mind. Some of you, listen, you must take some decisions before we enter 2020. You, when we are about to pray, send the guy a message. My, it's over. I am tired of this year, year life. It's over. Some guys must send some ladies messages. I am tired of your witchcraft. I'm tired. Because the truth of the matter is total celebration. You must enter. Are you not tired of always coming to church? And when messages like this are preached, you feel uncomfortable. When will you also sit down? And they are talking of have a superior mindset for consecration, for holiness. You're like, Lord, thank you. This was where I was struggling. But by the grace, when would they be a Drew are now woeful? Yeah, can now woeful. But when I say take your visa, take one thing we'll see now. Mindset is a very serious issue. You need a mind for soul winning. You know why God can't trust you? Because you are too self-centered, too egocentric, and too greedy. You see, when you don't have the mind of Christ, you will not be thinking of souls. I'm telling you, when God thinks of the world, God is not thinking who will get Bentley, who will get Rolls Royce. That's not what God thinks about. When God is looking at the minds that are thinking of souls, every Sunday we should be sitting like this. Every Sunday we should be sitting like this. Mindset. Thirty-first, no feature back. Even who be my another thirty-first. There are some people sitting here. They are waiting for us to cross over because they see that the Abraham. Ovie ya okobebi. Betemu, betemu, betemu. We still see you there. It's a sign that your mindset is poor. Whilst I'm preaching, you're already texting the guy. The guy is sending you a message. Are you done? And I am poor. It's amazing how some people can enter 31st. They believe that, they just believe that they at least let them cross over. And when you live here, you are not going to your house. You are still going. How do you receive God's word together? And still carry God's word. And go and put God inside your room. Put him in the middle and still sleep together. No, is it not amazing? When we close, I will check everybody's face. I will check everybody's back. If I see sponge... Eh? If I see toothbrush, I see some small, small whatever, and a dress, I'll ask you, where are you going? Because who to fear? Who now my own son your mom cry? And now fear who go retreat? Our mindset. You are not thinking so. We have always said one member, one soul. One, you know why you are not doing it? Your mind is poor. You are not thinking like Christ would think. You are just thinking of yourself, how you can succeed yourself, how your husband can succeed, how your wife. You are not thinking of the bigger picture. When you have a superior mind, you are also thinking, Lord, just as you have blessed me, who can I also bring it to the kingdom so that the person's life will be turned around? 2020, change your mind. When you wake up Monday, be thinking, who can I carry to church? So that they can hear the gospel of truth like I'm preaching it. This is true too. 
cross over, you must be told the truth. Your mind should change. If you have been doing bad things, stop it. Stop it. I don't see how a child of God, you still have appetite for December to remember. Some of you, when I come on your status, I want to throw up for the kind of things I see. One time in the morning, he used the acid toothbrush. Who are you deceiving? It's a sign your mindset is poor. That's why you will not be celebrated. King's Church, I want heaven to celebrate me. I want men to celebrate me. So my mindset must be superior. Am I teaching somebody at all? Change your mind. Tell somebody, go for souls. Catch and one thing. Catch and say, go for souls. Tell somebody, stop all these excuses. Change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Tell yourself, I am not somebody that can die prematurely. That's a superior mind. I'm not teaching somebody at all. It must be a paradigm shift. When you read Genesis 13, the verse 14 to 15, God appeared to Abraham. He said, Abraham, from where you are, look northward. Look southward. Look eastward. So long as your eyes can see, I will give it to you. Look at it. And the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot was saved, may God separate you from some Lot. Your problem is that you are still going into 2020 with a certain Lot. But tonight we draw a line of demarcation between your Lot and the journey of 2020. Some of you, your Lot is your friend. Some of you, the Lot is a sin. Some of you, the Lot is your decadent. But tonight, may God draw a line of dichotomy between your Lot and yourself. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Immediately Lot left. God said, where you are, Abraham, look northward. Look southward. Look eastward. Go to the next way. So long as your eyes can see, look. For the land which thou seest, to thee I will give it. So whatever your eyes will see, Abraham, I will give you. My question is, God was not talking about Abraham's physical eyes. No matter how big your eyes are, my dear, can you stand in Adenta here and see East Ligon physically? Even KFC that is in Adenta, can you stand here and see it? So when God said, Abraham, where you are, I want you to look northward, eastward, southward. God was not talking of Abraham's physical eyes. God was talking about the eyes of his mind. You can see with your mind. Oh, by God's grace, eh? I was telling a man of God two days ago that the reason why I preach globally, big churches here and there, is not because I started seeing I started seeing it in my mind years ago. I told you before when I'm bathing in the shower, when we're in my father's house, the shower is the pulpit, the sponge, the, the, the soap, everything is my congregation. I'll be preaching. I see my I was I didn't have a passport, but I saw it in my mind. Nobody enters greatness by mistake. Nobody enters greatness by chance. Start thinking greatness. Start seeing yourself better in what you do. Your mind. He says, so long as your eyes of your mind can see, Abraham, I will give it to you. One day God came to Joshua. He said, oh boy, from where you are, see. The elders came to him. They said, how can you see from where you are? They didn't know God was not talking about his physical eyes. God was talking about the eyes of his mind. That's why the Bible said we have the seeing eye. There's a seeing eye, not eyes. There is a seeing what? Eye. It's an eye in your mind that sees. That's why me, I've already entered 2020 in my mind. And I see people blessing me already in 2020. That's the kind of mind you should have. I've said it over and again that there's nothing God does for me that, so, that really startles me, that surprises me because anything I am today, I always saw it. I'm and I keep seeing. You can see with your mind. Stop thinking small, small things. Eh? 
when you come and see me, say I should pray for you. Tell me big things so that I can pray into big things. Even if the Bible said despise not small beginning. He said despise, but he didn't say remain there. God, thy beginning may be small. Thy latter end. How do you work small? Your beginning may be small, but your latter end must be greatly increased. So your mindset must be thinking that. Are you with me at all? I told you the story of the, the governor I went to pray for. The guy who was an aspiring governor that took me to his compound, saw plenty cars. You remember I told you that story? Unless you have not been here. Plenty cars. He said all the cars are under divine punishment. Because he told himself in his mind that when God prospers him, anything that punish him, he will punish it. So all the cars are under punishment. The Jaguars, the Bentley, punishment. Or she red suitor. A red car, or a black shooter, or a salon, or a car, or a, the least car I saw was a Range Rover. As a man of God, I was poor, but I told myself, if God blesses me, you must have a certain mindset for prosperity. Change your mind. You will not just marry anybody. Yeah. You will not just marry any man. You will not just marry any woman. Tell yourself, the person you are getting married to must be somebody great. Michelle Obama. I, I read an article. She said the husband was, they went to eat in a restaurant and the husband tipped a lady and the, you know, the wife was like, it looks like you know each other. He said, yes. This was the lady that when we were in high school we were dating. I was hoping that I would marry her. And so thank God you, you found me and you became friends. The woman said, don't make a mistake. You are what you are because I married you. So there are some people you marry. Your greatness will emerge. It's a mindset. Tell yourself the woman I'm good. The Bible says, He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. Who do you of her then? Oh my, now favor her. Or buy and they say, Come for. He didn't marry well. It's vice versa. A woman too can be doing very well. You will go and join your tent to some man, and that's the end of you. The woman physically will go and you must soon some more coach. Mindset. Actually, it's a 2020. Change your mind. Change your mind. When a woman is cooking in the kitchen, she believes, she tells herself, this meal I'm cooking must be sweet. You're, you're already telling yourself, your husband must enjoy it. Is that not it? Is, is there any woman that loves your husband that when you are cooking, you anyway, you say no. If you're any dead, if you're a man, you're a man. Is there any woman like that? That kind of man is a witch. <laughs> any woman that is busy cooking for the husband, you are cooking to make your husband enjoy it. Is that not it? Yeah. yeah. It's what did you are expecting him to say, I mean, make some compliment. Your food. Any woman that cooks well, when your husband is and your husband says your food is sweet, will you be sad? It's because when you were doing it in your mind, you knew that. Sometimes cry on kind, cry wah, cry out him. Put me to jail. So I do any at his at his thing. So a quiet year, man. So don't you do that sometimes? Because you just believe that the thing is sweet. It's mindset. Sometimes you, it's not like your husband is not romantic. Your husband can't pamper you. Your mind, your mind, you, your mind doesn't have that understanding. That allow yourself, your husband to pamper. Hey? Mommy, mommy, get her. Please get her. At, at this age, at this your level, why will you require a hugging her? Poor mind. Poor mind. You had your wife like girlfriend. Funny it too. A superior mind. Listen, if you are married, any day you wake up before your partner and you look at your partner in bed, hey, that's a moon. So, this is what I will live with. Hi. Did, did somebody force you? You should, you should wake up and you are looking at your wife, your husband. Hi, see man. 
time. Once he's fast asleep, you just go and give him a kiss. Mwah. No, I'm sorry. Hi, my pain. Da, da, da. Twenty twenty, change your mind. Start treating each other. Make each other feel good. Eh? Your wife will not say she's tired. You can tell she's tired. By the time she comes, she's taking over. She sits and says, Honey, can I give you a massage? No, me and a nine one. It's sweet mind. Sweet mind. Eh? You the man too. You the woman too. Sometimes when your husband, you can see his nails are growing. Put the dark or your pedicure. Sometimes put it, it's too sweet. Put his leg on your laps. Who's a more deep come on? Obi Frogra, Johnny, Dan, I know me, Asia, Miss Rome, Miss Rome, and you are worried about it. You are enjoying each other. You know why your husband is not staying at home? Because there is no atmosphere of joy in your home. And you did it, 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 It's poor mind. 2020, husbands and wives, change your mindset. Don't wait for your wife to say, I need dress before you give her money. You can tell that percent are not there. It's not as if you can't afford. You can afford it. Give it to her. The piano will make a fight. The first you ask, you have started a fight. Hey, you people, your hair. And I won't see a crime. You try it. 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 You'll be telling her, can't you see that sister? The way her short hair suits her. It makes her beautiful. She's not that sister. Obiyanin and Nim said yet. Or catch your sexual child. Catch us also in Sakura. Sometimes there is a way people want people to fit because they don't want to change their mind. You are fortunate to have a husband or you are fortunate to have a wife who is not too demanding. Six months. She's saying, I want to buy a shoe. After six months, you are saying, my dear, you are changing. Who has been talking to you? Six months. She's changing. Six months. Oh, you're about to be adding seven and nine here. And then and I see an talking answer. Change your mind. May God give us people with positive mind. May God surround us with people with positive mind. May your own mindset change after tonight. May grace enter your mind. May God give you a superior mindset. May God make your mindset big. May God make your mindset big. May God give you an achieving mindset. 2020, by the reason of your mindset, every man will celebrate you. Every woman will celebrate you. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Stand to your feet. Tell somebody there must be a paradigm shift. Change your mind. Change your mind. If you're a student, tell yourself, I will pass the exams. I will not fail. I will not. Don't have the mindset of F. Have the mindset of at least B+. Plus. You have already told yourself you'll be last. That's why you're always last in the class. Listen, if there's anything you shouldn't forget in this teaching, eh, have a good definition of your life. See yourself as somebody beautiful. See yourself as somebody handsome. See yourself as somebody very, very important. Are you with me at all? Listen, 2019, forget everything you experience. Forget it. 2020 is a brand new experience. Are you with me at all? It's what? Mindset of 2020 is different from 2019. 2020, you will not make mistakes. I say you will not make mistakes. You will not make mistakes. 2020, you will not be poor. Lift up your hands. Are you ready to pray? We have some 10 minutes to enter 2020. I want you to open your mouth now. Begin to pray. Let God change your mindset. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Say, my father, my father. Shout it, my father, my father. Tonight, as my hands are lifted, 
Let there be a paradigm shift. Let my mind change. Let my mind change. Let me have a superior mindset. From today, I refuse to be a mediocre. I refuse to be impoverished. In the name of Jesus, after tonight, give me a mind of souls. Give me a mind of prosperity. Give me a mind of celebration by fire, by fire. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Pray. every inferiority it is ending tonight 2019 you are not carrying the sins of 2019 into 2020 Kapasha tire superior mindset mindset to prosper mindset to win souls mindset to be consecrated pray Lord give me a better mindset let there be a shifting Kadabashaya, Zipantaya, superior mind, oh God, superior mind. I want to relate with my wife better. I want to relate with my husband better. I want to do better in terms of my work with you. Give me a superior mind. I am tired of this mind of smallness, of this mind of inferiority. I am better than the level I am. 2020, give me a mind that will let me know I will be celebrated. I'll be appreciated in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, my father, my father. Tonight, give me a mindset for soul winning. Say, Lord, I repent in 2019. 2020, I will not go to church without taking people with me give me a mindset of souls give me a mindset of soul winning say lord after tonight even me give me an appetite for going to church 2020 every sunday every wednesday every friday i will come to church i will be in church Give me that mindset. I am a member of House of Consecration. Beginning from today, I renew my commitment. I renew my faithfulness. Help me, God. Give me a better mind. In 2020, open your mouth and pray. Pray. It's no longer about you, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend your mother, your father. There are a lot of people. God through you can draw them to church. Ask God for a superior mind. The same mind you used to invite people to attend your naming ceremony, to attend your engagement, to attend your party. Whatever you do to get them, ask God to give you that same mentality. To draw people to their kingdom. Ask God for a superior mind. Kabashataya. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hand. Say, My Father, my Father, in the year 2020, I receive the mindset of holiness, the mindset of consecration, the mindset of purity. Make me holy in 2020. Give me a superior mind. Every weakness, every iniquity, every sin, every transgression in my life tonight by my superior mind, I exterminate it. I exterminate it by fire. 
I have a mind of righteousness. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Katalabataya. We have five more minutes. Kataya Dabataya. Pray. Maladadosha. Maladadosha. Amperi Ataya. Amperi Ataya. Amperi Ataya. Yatona Matoya. Yatona Matoya. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. Look for your, if you have a wife, look for your wife. If you have your children, you can gather them. If you have a husband, look for your husband or a friend. Hold somebody's hand. In the next three minutes, we are going to pray. Because 2020, we have to be celebrated. And when you hold hands and you are praying, you are releasing any area of your life you want to see celebration. If it is the area of marriage, release it. Conception, release it. Business, release it. Whatever area of your life, you are believing God for celebration. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. If you are not married, you don't have anybody, look for a friend, somebody, and begin to prophesy. 2020, you will be celebrated. 2020, there will be dedication. 2020, you will be celebrated. Something good will happen to you. Something good will happen to your career. Something good will happen to your business. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Prophesy. Katalabashaya. Leketelebrosi kataya. Mantolobo sibiriata. Pray, 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 pray. Prophesy. Your children will be celebrated. Your husband will be celebrated. Your wife will be celebrated. Three more minutes to go. Come on, pray. Pray, 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 pray. 2020 is your year of total celebration. Money will pour into your life. Favor will pour into your life. Something good will happen to your life. You are holding the hands of somebody as a point of contact for your husband, for your wife. For your children, just prophesy. There is no distance when it comes to the things of the spirit. Wherever they are, God will reach out to them. Just prophesy. Greatness, prophesy. Favor, prophesy. Blessing, prophesy. Promotion. They will be celebrated. Two more minutes. Huh? Come on, push it. Yatanabata, Amperiata, Rabakata, Antonamata, Rabakatata, Payanta, Paradadadosh, 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 Katata, 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 Katata. One more minute to go. Come on, pray. Pray, 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 pray. 2020 will favor your family. 2020, there will be celebration from January 1st to 31st of 2020, December. There will be celebration. Your house will be celebrated. Your family will be celebrated. Come on, pray. Pray, pray, pray. 40 more seconds. 40 more seconds to go. Pray for your partner. Pray for the person you are holding hands with. They will prosper. They will be favored. They will march forward. Something good will happen to them. Come on, pray for your family. Pray for your family. Pray for your family. 30 more seconds to go. Pray, 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 pray. Something is shifting. There will be a paradigm shift. Your mind has changed. Your mind has proliferated. Your mind has expanded. Your business will expand. 20 more seconds. Pray for the person. Next year by this time, you will have your house. Next year by this time, you will have your business. Next year by this time, you will be married. You will have your children. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Ten more seconds. Pray, 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 pray. Five seconds more to go. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yes. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Congratulations! You made it! You made it! Come on, look for somebody. Congratulate the person. Tell the person you made it. 
Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. For behold, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody said, Hallelujah. Everybody said, Hallelujah. Everybody said, Hallelujah. Everybody said, Hallelujah. Oh, I said, glory be, praises be, honor be, glory be to God in the highest. Everybody shout hallelujah. Praises be, honor be, glory be to God in the highest. Mebona 
wayo wasma ilele Yesu ni wayo wasma ilele Yesu ni wayo wasma ilele 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 Yesu ni wayo wasma ilele 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 One two three go wasma He was mine. 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 I la la la. 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 I la 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 la. I la 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 la. I 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 la la la. Hey, oh that's it, Bobo, Bobo. Hey, oh that's it, Bobo, Bobo. Put your hands together for Jesus and make a shout. given to you can bring it just get up from your chair come and drop it on the altar very quickly take your offering if you have your thanksgiving envelope to come and drop it on the altar very quickly let's do it very quickly very quickly quickly just come and drop it drop your thanksgiving drop your offering this is your very first offering give a good offering to the lord give a good offering if you have your thanksgiving come and drop The Lord bless you.
together for Jesus. How many of you are blessed tonight, this morning? You are blessed this morning. Tell your neighbor there is a paradigm shift. Tell somebody go with the flow. Tell somebody change your mind. Hallelujah. Alright. Um, before the announcement, we have entered a new year. We have to take our very first declaration for 2020. Yeah, you, you are not excited. You know, these declarations are very powerful. So, church, I want to ask us to rise to our feet as we take the very first declaration for 2020. Are you ready? Are you excited? Yeah, so you see, this declaration we've put together is a prayer and a confession on its own. If you say it well, you will enjoy what you are saying. Are you with me? All right. This is 2020. Our year of total celebration. I'm a divine celebrity. Because of Christ. The life of Christ. Ignites my spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Christ is in me. It's my hope of glory. Therefore, by grace, I am being glorified. Christ in me removes the power of sin. Therefore, by grace, I am righteous. Christ in me gives me good health. Therefore, by grace, I am stupendously blessed in Christ. Christ in me removes every curse. Therefore, by grace, I am blessed. Christ in me removed every spirit of poverty. Therefore, by grace, I am prosperous. Christ in me removes every defeat and smallness in my life. Therefore, by grace, I am victorious. Christ in me makes me a divine celebrity. By grace, through faith, I enjoy a fruitful life. By grace, through faith, I enjoy a peaceful home. By grace, through faith, I enjoy abundant resources. By grace, through faith, I enjoy fulfillment at work. At the house of consecration, we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. We are a city on a hill. We will not be hidden. We are consecrated. We are holy. We are sanctified. We are favored. We shall prosper. We shall live and not die. I have the life of Christ. I hear God vividly. I am led by the Holy Spirit. I make prudent decisions. I'm an answer to questions. I'm a solution to problems. I'm a divine celebrity. In God's agenda. I'm 
am a celebrity on earth. 2020 is my year of total celebration. I shine the light of Christ into my community. I will make stupendous impact in my year of total celebration. I will give hope to others. Those around me will see the light of Christ radiating in me and they will give glory to God in Jesus mighty name. Come on, put your hands together and give him a shout. Hallelujah. Well, we are closing, but let me make this announcement very, very important. Are you ready? Don't forget, you know, um, I always come with the prophecies for 2020 at our Holy Ghost encounter service. So don't forget Wednesday is today. We are not coming back for evening service. I want you to stay with your husband if you are married. Stay with your wife if you are married. If you have a boyfriend, wait until about 12. If you have a girlfriend, wait until about 12 in the afternoon. You can go and watch a movie. Go and look for a nice movie. Not romantic movie. Look for action film. Action film. So that you will not be tempted. Go and look for Karishika or Diabolo. Look for action. Hmm? Jake and the fat man. Go and look for that. Don't go and watch romance. You are not married. It's not good for you. Say I hear. Okay. So please, we are not coming back in the evening. Today is first. It's Wednesday. Normally we have our communion and midweek service on Wednesday. But today, because we have entered the new year already, I want you to go and relax. Ponder over the message. Tell yourself 2020 will be better than 2019. So we are not meeting today. But we are back for the very first power night service on Friday. Power night. Can we have the flyer for power night? We are back on Friday for our very first. Tell your neighbor, don't miss power night. Tell somebody in 2020. Don't exempt yourself from any of the weekly meetings. Yeah. So Friday, which date is Friday? 3rd of January is the very first power night. And these meetings are held every Friday night from 7.30 to 10.30. Those of you who come, I preach a little, we pray, then I minister prophetically to people. We go into your hometown, who they do you, who know they do you, what's holding your blessing. We check all those things and we prophesy by the leading of the Spirit. So every Friday, in case today is your first time, every Friday we have power night here from 7.30 to 10 p.m. 7.30 to 10 p.m. So I'm looking solemnly forward to seeing everybody on the 3rd of January. Coming Friday. Tell somebody, coming Friday. Uh, after this kind of message, even appetite for nightclub, all those things, it will leave you. See, I hear. Tell, ask your neighbor, have you changed? Tell the person, I know you. Have you changed? Tell the person from here. Where I, ask the person from here, where are you going? Listen, from here, go and get, if you have knockout, go and get knockout. If you don't have, look for maybe pizza, Coca-Cola, Sprite, no beer, no gold, all those nonsense. Leave it in 2019. We are in 2020. Are you with me? Go and eat ice cream, something. So when we live here, go and buy ice cream, go and buy cake, go and buy chibum, bread and egg, go and eat. If you have king cake, go and eat your king cake. If you have, if you have milo, go and drink milo. Overtake, quench, go and drink everything. Bon vita, go and drink it. Then on Sunday, fourth, Sunday, faith. That's the first Holy Ghost service. The first Holy Ghost service. It's this service. Listen, those of you who are members, you know, the first Holy Ghost service, you bring your personal bottle of oil. You bring your personal bottle of oil. Because in that service, I anoint everybody. I pray over the bottle of oil. That's the bottle of oil for 2020. Are you with me at all? I bless it for you. That bottle is the 
it is symbolic of the Holy Ghost. Are you with me at all? So when I pray over it, you anoint yourself. Anytime you need a breakthrough, you need God to do some celebration in your life, you anoint yourself. And you so on Sunday, the fifth of January, everybody must be in church. We come in the morning, then we come in the evening. The Holy Ghost service is an evening service. So we come in the morning, close morning service, then we come back in the evening for evening service. Please tell somebody, please don't miss Holy Ghost service. Tell somebody, you have to be anointed for 2020. Are you with me at all? Everybody, on Sunday evening, I'm going to anoint you, prophesy into your life. You need to be here. And I'm preaching a message, victory over untimely death. You know, when we enter the year, God must give you that mindset that tells you you will not die this year. Say a year. So I want to show you how you can resist death. How even if death comes knocking at your door, you can tell death, I'm not ready for you. Get out of here. Are you with me at all? So Sunday, come in the morning, come in the evening for Holy Ghost service and I'll, you will hear a message on how to overcome um, victory over untimely death. You can overcome death. Tell somebody you can overcome death. Yeah, it's scriptural. So I'll show you from scriptures how you can escape untimely death so that you don't die untimely. Are you with me? And this year, none of us will die untimely. If your amen is the loudest, your security will be strong. So the anointing service is to make sure you don't die this year. So if you don't come for the anointing service and you go and die, don't blame anybody. If you don't want to die this year, make sure Sunday evening you are here because I'm anointing everybody and I'm going to be prophesying and I'll bring prophecies for 2020. I'm sure there's one that is of interest to everybody. You'll hear it. The Archbishop said to some of us, he said we should use wisdom in what we said this year. So I'll say it in wisdom. Yeah. So make sure you are here. If you're a journalist, don't come. You like recording things and going to good things. If I catch you recording my prophecies, you are there. You can pay once. You can pay Amen. Please don't forget. There's another thing God impressed on my heart. Can I get some envelopes? God said some people should look for a seed of 220 CD. You are sowing it into the year 2020. You are bringing it on the Sunday night at the Holy Ghost service. If you, if you want to be a part of the people that are saying 2020, this is my seed, Lord. Every good thing you have in store for me in 2020, I want to receive it. Anybody that wants to pick the envelope, come to me. God spoke to me. He said, let some people find a seed of 220 CD and sow it into 2020. Please, when you take the envelope, write on it. 2020 seed. You are bringing it. Don't, even if you have it now, don't bring it. I beg you. The instruction is bring it on Sunday evening. But make sure you write on it. 2020 seed. Come to me very quickly. Come to me. Look for 220 CD. 220 CD. Quickly. 2020 will could to you. 2020 will could to you. I'm not asking for rich people. I'm asking for people who have faith that 2020, heaven will smile at you. Pick an envelope from me very quickly. Very quickly. Very, if you want to do it for your family, your children, go ahead. Do it for your husband. Do it for your wife. Do it for your son. Do it for your daughter. 220 CD. It's a sacrifice. But you are saying, Lord, 2020 is celebration for me, my family, and all my loved ones. Quickly. We have some envelopes. Bring it. We don't carry envelopes and drop it. I'm waiting for people to come and pick it. Look for 220. Come, come, come. If you check what you spend on Coca-Cola, papaya, samosa, what again? Watch it. Sacrifice it and sow it as a seed for 2020. Come and pick it. Quickly, 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 quickly. 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 2020 seed. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is important. You know, I don't just call for offering. So if I call for an offering, God must really speak to me. Please don't forget, you write on it 2020 C. It's the year 2020 C. Pick it quickly. Papa. Take it and go and give it to your mother.
quickly. Come and pick. You, you have some envelopes. If you can do 220, come and pick it quickly. Where are you coming? Beautiful. This girl likes to. You will become a financial minister. Uh -huh. Go and give it to them. Whose daughter is that? Whose daughter? Whose daughter is that? Okay, that's your daughter. Obenye Skafa said, "What me jam blue? Chichema." Watch you know. What's what you bad do? Oh, I go for fast, my bro. I go learn you remember what you. Obu ho ameka and you just want me and the bad was it now? Yeah, me and Kola no. Cause you want to go be a trainer. Quickly, two hundred and twenty. Okay, if you can do one twenty, come and pick it. Quickly, don't enter the year without a seat into the year. 120. Please, are my stickers ready? My stickers ready. 120 CD. Come and pick an envelope. Please, show the seed. It's for your own good. Show the seed. 120. 120. And don't forget, you write on it 2020 seed. And don't also forget, you are returning the envelope on Sunday. At the Holy Ghost service. Please, I will release you very soon. Don't forget, we are not coming back tonight. I have some important announcements to make. So, please wait. Why the one I came for so that we dance? Why the one I came to call to dance? Okay. I hope every time you come, we dance together. <laughs> What's your name? Portia. Patience. Give me oil. Father, I pray over this lady. Today marks the beginning of a major U-turn in her life. 2020 will smile at her. Let giant doors open for her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alright. If you want to do 120, chairman. Team men are support. Team men are support. Who's about today? My you. My you. Manchester United. So that damn is what. Who won't say what that penata on it? What's why I mind you? Hey, look at them, my dear. Mind you, no, no, so sir. And it's a mind you to me, bad, yeah. Oh, nice. Listen, if you can do 50 CD, come, come and pick the envelope. Listen, don't take this opportunity for granted. Keep the envelope. 50 CD, come and pick. Some people took it for 220, some 120. This is the last thing I'm asking for. Look for 50 CD. You are bringing it on Sunday night. You are giving it to God. Do it for your children. Do it for your husband. Do it for your wife. your name. Pacro Crow, what's your name? You see what I was telling you? Allow children to come to church. Was it Sunday I was saying it? They like the atmosphere. Oh. Well, please don't forget the envelopes you took. Write on it 2020 what? And you are returning it not Sunday morning, a Sunday evening. Don't forget Sunday morning, we always meet here. Every Sunday, we have morning service from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Can we have the flyer for Sunday service? Can we have the flyer for Sunday service? When I'm talking of a service, you put the flyer there. Every Sunday, we have service from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Tell somebody you are warmly invited. Every Sunday. You know, I've started a series on uh, triple dimension of the anointing. I'm going to continue on Sunday 
morning. So please. No, Sunday morning is Thanksgiving. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. And don't forget, the first Sunday of every month, we meet in the evening for Holy Ghost Encounter Service. The first Sunday of every month. That's why we are meeting on the faith for Holy Ghost Service. So if you have the, um, the envelope, you are returning it, not in the morning, but in the evening service. Amen. Please, the stickers for total celebration is ready. You buy it, you put it behind your car, put it behind your wardrobe, put it on your shop, put it on your office desk, anywhere, put it. It's 2019, the gentleman promised you marriage. He didn't marry you. Don't worry. If he has a car, put the sticker behind his car. He will marry you this year. In Jesus' name. When you ask him to, you are also married, your husband is